Hey guys, what's poppin', what's good? It's your girl Simone, aka The Black Queen, and I am back with another YouTube video. So, right now, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning, so that's why I am speaking kind of low, because I don't want to wake my neighbors or anything like that, and I really couldn't sleep. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, like, as I'm preparing for this pop-up shop, like, some of the things that I got, and just, like, the whole process of it, the whole journey of planning, like, a pop-up shop. So I participate in, in so many pop-up shops in New York, um, even one here in DC. But this is like my first time actually like planning one, like getting a venue, getting vendors, um, you know, decor, food, flyers, the whole nine, right? So I kind of wanted to share this experience with you guys. So that's what this video, and it's gonna be like a two-part video. So this is gonna be the before and the after. So yeah, I'm not too sure if this, before prior gets posted i'm not sure yet so yeah but if you are new to my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe this video and follow me on my instagram the black underscore underscore queen and make sure you go follow my business page shop underscore unsaid so that's the business that i own and the clothes that I, I sell like clothes um cute things that i like accessories i'm getting into some other ventures pretty soon so i'm really excited to be sharing that with you guys so let me jump into this video and stop talking about my personal stuff. <laughs> so I charge everybody a certain amount of money just to cover the venue, the food, and the decor, right? So everybody paid the same amount of money. Um, and so like when you're on a, like I do things based on budgets, right? So I kind of knew how much the venue was and I knew how much I wanted to spend on decor. But I wanted things to look look I wanted things to look very elegant and but yet still stay on a budget, right? So thank God the location that I picked for the venue, it's black owned. She just opened up this beautiful hair salon. It is in the hood, however, like the when you walk inside of it, it look it's beautiful. Like it has like chandeliers, it's very small, very intimate. So and it's my first pop up shop like that I'm planning, so I don't wanna I didn't wanna have like a huge space and a lot of things going on right um so i kind of already planned out like i've been to the venue like probably like four times so far and i already planned out like the things that i purchased and where i'm gonna hang them so i just wanted to show this with you guys and honestly i spent literally probably forty dollars i went to the dollar store and i literally got all these items Oh no, I'm lying. I got two things from Amazon, so I probably spent like sixty dollars on decor, which I still think that's not bad, right? So yeah. Also, I apologize that I'm in my uh, night clothes. I just woke up, like I said, and I can't sleep, so I was like, let me just record this video for you guys. <coughs> and I'm a little sick, so yeah. So I got these two things. Um, in the venue, and I'll probably insert clips. Well, you guys will see it at the end. Like, it, because it's a Valentine's Day theme, Papa Shop, I'm gonna hang these up on the wall so it's gonna be spaced out. So I have two of these. I have two of these and I think these are so cute. So you just hang these up, all for a dollar. So like, I, trust me, it looks nice on the wall. So the way she has uh, her venue or her hair salon set up. Um, I got these balloons from Amazon. I'm not, I don't wanna open it up now. Um, okay, so it's one I love you in 12 foil heart balloon. So I'm just gonna like scatter these among the venue. <laughs> However, yeah, it's 12. I don't know if it, it might look a little crowded. I'm not too sure. So yeah, and also I have to count factor in like I have to blow these up. So probably like my cost is coming up to seventy dollars i don't know i'm gonna calculate everything and put everything at the end or in the description to give you guys an accurate amount of how much i really actually spent so yeah because this in amazon i think it was 17.99 i purchased this and i purchased some like rose rope rope rose, rose petals so i plan on like scattering these among those in the store um up the stairs that it has things like that so yeah that's that like I told you guys, I purchased two of these. These were all for a dollar. So that's, this is definitely four dollars right here that I showed you the two of these things. So this and this. So. 
Oh my god, I have to get rid of this cold. So, <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. So when you walk in up the steps, there is a um, door, right? And it has like a it's like a glass type of door. And like I kind of wanted to add some things like this, like very cute, just you know, a theme of like love and romance and like elegance and love. So I thought that was pretty cute. And so I also got like ribbon. I don't know necessarily what I'm gonna use this for, but I feel like I might need it. So I just got it to dollar. And honestly, if I don't use it for now, I'll probably use it next year or in my packaging for my products that I sell to my customers, or my clients rather. And so I am gonna have food there. So I didn't want everything to be too, too red. So on the food table, it's gonna be like a white tablecloth with okay so i bought this for my tablecloth but i don't know if you follow me on instagram and if you've seen previous like um videos of me i think i have a video up of me and my pop-up shops that i posted and how i set my table up if not then just follow me on instagram i know the picture is up there but i always do like pink because pink is a theme and i always like decorate it with one of my um household like fake plants that i have and some of the jewels that i have but like i said like I'll probably insert the picture at the end or it's on my Instagram on my business page actually so yeah but this is not for the decor of the shop this is just for the, my personal decor my page for my business on my page so I have these roses here um, the reason why they're bent is I was playing with them earlier when I was at the store because I was debating if I wanted to get them they do look a little cheap however like you, there's so many ways that you can make things look expensive right so there's this vase that i have to go back and get i didn't get it because i didn't i just didn't want to break it and carry it and stuff because i don't have a car out here so i probably will get that the day of the event or i ask somebody in my building if they have like a vase that i have to that i can use so i don't have to um spend money so and so I'll, cut, I'll probably cut the bottom of it and then just stick it in here and then like there was these pebbles also at the dollar store that they probably still have and I'll fill it up or fill it up with water, something like that, and make it really cute. Just play around with it. Um, and so I got like these little confetti things. So this is gonna go on top of the white tablecloth. Like I'm gonna scatter it. And I plan on getting like little chocolate candies and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, and then what I really like am excited about are these like little mini round bowls so like we are serving food there like finger foods i'm not like trying to feed people right because it's a pop-up shop it's a shopping experience you just come you know a little water a little like fruit or veggie and you go on about your day right so like because you don't want people to od you just get a little like small bowl whatever i'm gonna hopefully have one of my friends serve i hope and pray that she comes through for me um, and you know she'll serve it's a little bit oh here you go so I got about let me see one two three four five six seven I got seven and there's six of these in a the bowl so I think that's a pretty good amount um it's a first come first serve basis and and then I also have like these red like napkins and stuff like that so it's 30 in a pack these are also for a dollar so yeah I think I showed you guys everything that I got for the most part, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna purchase like these balloons that say like pop up and put them in the front of the venue. I think, I'm not too sure yet. I have to think about that. And, and then of course the cost of blowing up the balloons and then I haven't calculated where I'm gonna actually get the food and the water from. But that's basically it for the most part in the vase. So that is it for this section of this video and like I said it's gonna be a couple of a, a two I need to stop touching my face and touching this because that's what I'm gonna be breaking out um that's it for this part portion of the video and I will see you guys in the after part of it and you guys will see we'll do like a little recap so bye